Hey everyone, I'm thrilled to share some great news with you today. We've just added a brand new feature that allows you to create interactive PDF journals for Kindle Scribe and other tablets. This is a fantastic opportunity, especially if you're looking to expand your product offerings. These interactive journals are super popular on platforms like Etsy and can really elevate your digital content. Now let's dive right in. Join me as we head over to a book creator and I'll walk you through exactly how to use this exciting feature. We're in the lined journal tool now on the a book creator website. To get to the tool, you can click on other tools, lined journal tool. To set up a Kindle Scribe version of a journal, you click on this button, Kindle Scribe. You want to add your author name. And you can adjust all of the settings for your navigation button and for your index page, however you want them, just like you can on our other tools. If you need more information on that, see our previous videos on how to use the Kindle Scribe settings. You can set up your line settings under here, line settings. And since I'm going to be doing a prompt journal, I want to fill less of the page, so we only want to fill maybe 80% of the page with the lines. You can adjust how thick your lines are and the spacing between your lines here and here. I'm just going to leave this as is for now. And over here under heading and prompt settings is where you go to set up your prompts and if you want to add headings. So first let's show you a heading. So it's going to add a heading of day and then the number to every one of the pages. So let's go ahead and do a refresh and I'll show you what that looks like. So we have the index, which will take you to an index page, which will have a little box and the day number for every page. You can set up how you want this to look. You can change where it shows up. We could move it down if we wanted to. We can change the alignment. Maybe we want to have it on the right side of the page. And we can change the font. And this is how that would look like. And when you download it, you now have 100 days. And then you have an index here with every single day. Under book settings, we can adjust how many pages by scrolling down and changing this number, number of pages. We can also adjust the number of columns for our index. So let's say we wanted to do one for every day of the year. Now when we download it, we have all of the pages and then we have all of the days. And you can click on any day and it will take you to that particular day. Now let's show you how to add prompts. To add prompts, you just go over here under prompt settings and click on add prompts to page. And then you want to cut and paste your prompts. I have a set of prompts for a journal for new moms. You have the same kind of controls. You can position where you want it to be. So let's make this one be lower than the day. And let's change it from day to prompt. Let's do a refresh and see what it looks like. You know, I think I, these are way too big, so let's make our font size smaller. Let's make this one 20. And this one 20. I think I want to move this one up. So let's maybe make this 0.2. And move this one down, maybe 0.7.
I like that better. I'm going to make this font and this font be the same. And I'll move this back up so it's around the same spot as the index one. Put this on Roboto and let's change this font to something else. And now that I have it the way I like it, I am going to do a download. We have each page with an indication of which prompt it is and the prompt. And if we go to the index, we have all 100 prompts. And we can click on whichever one we want and it will take us to that day. And then you can do your journaling. Now, if you are going to do this to sell, you would probably want to add a cover. So let me show you how to do that. You go to the front and back matter pages, click on add front matter pages, and I have a cover that I created. And now when I download it, it has the cover at the beginning of the book. And we still have all of our interactive abilities in the PDF. Now the last thing you can do is you don't have to have this up here. So under heading and prompt settings, you can turn off the heading setting. And now you just have your prompt and you can, of course, adjust it however you want. I'm going to leave it just like this. And I'm going to go and change this to one column and do a download. And now in the index, instead of having prompt one, two, three, etc., you have the actual prompt. and it will take you right to that page. So it gives you some options on how you wanna have your interactive journal look. We recommend that you niche down on these journals so that you can target a very specific audience instead of just creating generic journals. That way you'll have a better chance of people finding your journal and buying it. I'd love your input. How would you feel about seeing this feature added to the dot grid journal or the graph paper tool? If that's something you'd find useful, be sure to drop a comment below. We're always looking to improve and your feedback is key to helping us make the best tools for you. And don't stop there. If you have other ideas for features you'd like added to this tool, please let us know. We value your input and want to make sure we're creating exactly what you need to succeed. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Your journey to crafting journals, planners, logbooks, and more starts here. Get going now with a free three-day trial at abookcreator.com.